Hi Audacious, I hope you're all well. Um, today I want to talk to you about Proverbs 18 verse 6, which says that a gift opens the way and ushers the giver into the presence of the great. Now, back in the day that kind of meant that if someone was going to visit royalty or someone of high social standing, that they'd bring a gift or a present that would sort of open the way for them to be welcomed into the community. In other words, if your present is acceptable, then your presence is welcomed. Nowadays, if someone invites you around for a meal, it's kind of common courtesy to bring something with you, like a drink or, you know, a pudding or, I don't know, flowers and chocolates. And, um, but often when you ask that person, what shall I bring? They say, oh, just bring yourself. Just bring yourself. And that might seem like a simple request, but I wonder if some of us have expectations on ourselves um, for, for, that prevents us from feeling free to just be ourselves or come as we are. Maybe there's an expectation that is too high, that you know, you're a perfectionist and you'll never reach or achieve this expectation. You're always striving for a goal that's unattainable. Or maybe you've got an expectation could have been put on you or you put it on yourself that's too low. You think, you know, I've, I've got nothing to bring. I'm not worthy. And, um, and you, maybe you think, you know, you're going to be nothing. So you remove yourself from any potential opportunity. But I want you to know today that no matter what standards have been set for you or that you've set for yourself, that God sees you. God knows you and God loves you just as you are. In James 4 verse 8, it says, come near to God and he will come near to you. Just as you are, bring yourself. God loves you. God welcomes you. We don't have to bring any more than ourselves because the ultimate gift has already been given. Jesus gave his life to make a way for us to be in God's presence more intimately. John 3 16 reads, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but will have eternal life. God so loved the world that he gave this gift and that everyone that believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. When we accept his gift, we make way for the giver, that is God, to use us for his glory. And then we'll be able, we're able to become that gift to others who don't yet know Jesus by demonstrating his love, his grace and his consistency and faithfulness. You can be that for others. So I've got two challenges for you today. Number one is to ask God to help you to be yourself and to free you from any expectations that were unsaid or unwritten that are on your life that cause you to shy away from potential opportunity. And number two is to be God's gift to others. Show his love and his grace, be kind, accept others for who they are and to see them how God sees them. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for your faithfulness and for giving us your son, Jesus, who made a way for us to get to know you better. I pray that we would know how much you love us just as we are. Help us to be real and honest with you and to grow in the presence of your greatness. Help, help us to love others no matter what, to be kind, humble, and serve our communities around us and show them your goodness. In Jesus' name, amen. Away from God-given opportunity.